Hey there, welcome back. If you've ever looked at your Power by Reports and thought, while my tables look kind of boring, don't worry, you're not alone. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to design truly eye catching tables, or what Power by calls matrix visuals, even if you're a complete beginner. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to make your data easier to read and honestly way more impressive to look at. Let's dive right in. So, first things first, you'll want to open up Power by on your computer. If this is your first time, don't stress, Power by might look packed with buttons but we'll only need a few of them today. Once you've got your workspace in front of you, look over to the right side of the screen. Among all the icons in the visualizations pane, you'll see one labeled Matrix. It sort of looks like a little grid or table. Click on that icon to add a new matrix visual to your report page. This little action plants the seed for your table and gets you ready to show off your data in a professional way. Now, to bring your matrix to life, it's time to fill it with some actual data. For this, you'll use the fields pane, usually right below where you found the matrix icon. Find the fields or columns from your dataset that you want to show in your table. Usually, you might start by dragging something like product type into the rows area and maybe customer into the columns area, and then number sold into the values section. Just drag and drop, and don't be afraid to experiment a little to see what looks best. As you drop these fields in, you'll immediately see numbers and categories pop up in your matrix. This visual approach is super helpful because you can literally see your company's products, who bought them, and how many have been sold, all neatly organized. Maybe you're interested not just in totals by product type, but also how your sales stack up across the whole company. The matrix makes that breakdown crystal clear. If what you see at first looks a bit plain, don't worry, that's totally normal. Think of it like a cake before the icing. Now comes the fun part, making your table really stand out. With your matrix selected, look at the visualizations pane and find the little paint roller icon. This is Power Buy's formatting tool, and it lets you spruce up your visuals in endless ways. Here, where you can play with colors, add borders, and choose background shades that fit your brand's style or make important numbers pop. For example, you might add a subtle border to help the matrix stand out from the rest of your report. Or use a bright highlight to draw attention to certain high-performing products, kind of like shining a spotlight on your data's biggest stars. Don't rush this part. Try out different color palettes, adjust font sizes, or add alternating row colors for better readability. Remember, the goal is not just to decorate, it's to make your data more accessible. If you're ever unsure, ask yourself, does this color choice actually help people understand my data faster? If the answer is yes, you're on the right track, and if it looks a bit messy at first, don't stress. It often takes a few tweaks to find the perfect look. And there you go, that's how you can transform a basic power by table into a powerful, eye-catching matrix visual that actually tells a story. Thanks so much for following along. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to give it a like, leave any questions or ideas down in the comments, and subscribe if you'd like more straightforward tutorials on mastering power by. See you in the next video.